uh, it sounds like you have some information on one CM Punk and when any kind of announcement about uh, his return is going to take place. So I'll let you take this one. I can't believe we're still talking about this man. <laughs> <laughs> it's unbelievable. You know what? Who's his publicist? Jesus. God, you know what? I, I Whoever that publicist is needs an award. Uh, you know, it just sometimes speaks volumes, uh, volume regarding the interest in a talent. And I can't remember the last time I spent this much time or any of us, you know, in, in pro wrestling media in sports media, even, even, you know, Twitter, people on Twitter and the chat room to talking about one individual and what he's planning on doing. Cause I think, I think a lot of people realize the importance of punk here, right? I, I think that's really what it comes down to. And I think his exit, regardless of what side you want to be on here, it, it was a really totally unprofessional and crappy scenario for everybody involved top to bottom. So, you know, it's interesting. I mean, the whole exit was interesting. The the This impending return is even more interesting to me than how he left because how they put this together, I would love to know the story. I don't know if we'll ever get a true, uh, you know, the, the a true, honest version of this. Not that anybody's going to lie, but I think a lot of people are just not going to say what they want to say. But as far as I know... Uh, CM Punk's return will be announced most likely tomorrow, if not tomorrow, then very, very soon within the coming days. Uh, and thinking, this is big. You're thinking this is what Tony, this is going to be part of what Tony teased last week when he made the announcement to, to create the announcement for this week. Is that, yeah, is I, that going to be part of what he's talking about? I don't know how they'll do it. I, I, I have no clue. And even if I did, I, I really don't feel comfortable spoiling it for people. You know, like I like to I like to talk about stuff like this, but I don't like ruining uh, what we see on TV. So mm -hmm. even if I knew I, I wouldn't say, but I really have no clue how they'll present this. I, I do. They, they kind of have to announce it. They, they Even if they didn't want to, because think about it, you got one month to sell out the United Center on a Saturday. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You got one month. Uh, this is potentially one of the biggest uh, moments for that company's history. You're getting another two hours prime time. It, this is not like how Rampage was positioned. Rampage, I, I know they tried to make it work. Rampage was a compromise of a show. Uh, Tony, they wanted another hour, and this was a compromise. Yeah. If it wasn't a compromise, then they would not have put it on at 10 p.m. on a Friday. They tried something. You know what? For the time slot it's in, uh, non-preempted, to do a half a million viewers or so, whatever they're in, it's not bad. I know we like to say it's terrible, but it's not a terrible number for the time slot and for what it is. So they need another product, right? Warner is very embedded in the AEW content. Uh, how Punk got involved. I don't know if Punk came before Collision or after. If I'm going to say, if I were to go based on what I know, I would say Punk came after and Collision kind of spun into something different than it was supposed to be. I, I, I don't know if that's 100% accurate. I'm just going based on information that I have that I could just assume. So putting this together, I've been really on top of this story. <laughs> I've, I've told Garrett and I have spoken so many times off the air. And, you know, this was one of those things that kind of fell into my lap. And, and, I, and I wanted to commit to it and provide as much information as I can to you guys. Uh, and from all accounts, it looks like it's probably tomorrow. Now, whether or not it's part of Tony's announcement, I mean, what I can see them doing is, you know, we, did, what was, what are they calling it? Somebody reported that it's going to be called what? The second coming. Yes. Did you see we that? Well, I mean, uh, I Christ, it was the Christ Jericho. It wasn't in the Observer? Okay, so I, I mean, the Christ the Jericho name is perfect, right? What, what a great name. <laughs> but you know what? Imagine if that sheet is right, and that's how they start. You know, they talk about the second coming, and here comes Jericho with his hands out doing the Y2J thing. Uh, it can happen. Um, they're going to kind of have to be forced to announce it. But, you know, you could just put up a graphic, say, you know, the second coming, United Center, and you could do something to symbolize punk. Something. You don't have to show him. And everybody's going to know, and you'll sell out that building, or hopefully for the in, for them. You know what? You could yeah. put up a muffin. Thank you, John. That is that go. is the key. Just 
just a muffin in the background and you put up the second coming at the United Center. Uh, it's exciting stuff for sure, right? Super exciting stuff, but there's more to it, right? We got Punk, we got Collision, uh, you know, by, by all whatever, accounts, I whatever think the deal this, is done. Yeah, this TV deal. The new deal, deal is. So, I want to save the TV deal thing for a little while because I think there's a, yeah. a lot of questions that people are going to have about this Punk thing because if we remember the first time he came through, they didn't just announce it. Tony Khan didn't just say, hey, guys, CM Punk is here. And they they put a show. They, they did the Rampage show, uh, sold the tickets to that building. They left teases. They allowed the wrestling ecosystem with the reporters and the bloggers and the Twitter universe to just just re just create this crazy expectation for what we we were we were all pretty much 99% sure it was going to be about punk but they created this hysteria around it to make that rampage number remember that friday rampage number it did an insane right i was so was over a million i was at SummerSlam. i watched it in my hotel so that is why when i asked you know is he just going to announce it on tv it doesn't seem like that's his style on announcements like this he likes to create awareness he likes to get people tweeting. He likes to get people writing. He gets to like, you know, he likes to get people speculating. He gives us content. I appreciate that. Thank you, Tony Khan, for giving us content to talk about every week. Mm -hmm. So I, I can't imagine he just comes on TV tomorrow and says, hey, guys, CM Punk is coming back. I, there's got to be some creative way that they're thinking about doing this, right? It, it, I, I would expect them to do something creative, but I also think they need to be a little bit more blatant with announcing things. Uh, this, these, these numbers for double or nothing don't look good. They're under 6,000. They're probably over six. Uh, I'm sorry. They're under 7,000. They're probably over now from this morning to now. They just need a couple more tickets sold, but you know, you don't have a real card announced. People really don't know. Uh, you know, it's just, you're a week out and we don't have the pay-per-view and you've only sold 7,000 tickets. You cannot have that happen for CM Punk's return. I don't expect it to, but you really maybe should be a little bit more blatant with the with the wink and the nod here.